Friday, 16th of October, three weeks today, post-op. Let's have a see. So, to the top. It's still, it's coming in a bit. It's coming in a bit. And I feel, I feel a lot better for training. I do feel a hell of a lot better. And moving, obviously, if you look back at the previous videos, I definitely couldn't do that. There's a, that little internal stitch is just clinging on, but it's really loosened. And I can open up. So a massive difference. On the side, it looks better here. I definitely, definitely it's coming a little bit. Still, still a little bit numb to touch. Still, it still hasn't got a full feeling back here. This has still got nothing, which is really abnormal to touch. It feels awful. The scar's healing nicely. But I'm one little bit of swollen here. And I've just been putting the cream on it and just keep it, keep it, keep it covered. So it's a big difference. And then to the back. Can't see it. <laughs> Let me know how it looks. Let me know. <laughs> Can't see it. Does it look all right? Yeah, I can actually, stand, I can actually do that. You can do a proper front relaxed. Not quite. <laughs> Still not enough movement, but it's definitely getting there. The skin's very tight, but there's no pain. There's a little bit of discomfort, more so from that damn corset, wherever it's gone. From the corset, that's causing more discomfort than anything else. Just after the day, like I said, still a bit of edema. That kind of just leaves an indentation now and again. Other than that, good. Wednesday, 21st of October. Three weeks, five days post-op. Friday. It's four weeks. I'm gonna do a video then to do a full comparison against it, but everything's come down significantly because I've been wearing a neoprene waist trainer instead of the shitty cotton one they gave me that was itching me to death. This gave a lot more compression, a lot more support, and just generally brought it down a lot more. So on Monday night, I taught the class again, and this was making me sweat and just generally move and hold it in a lot better. And I did teach abs, and I was doing crunches and stuff. Yes, people think I'm crazy for doing that. But every time I've done that, I've got more extension through the midsection because I'm doing, I'm going to the floor, I'm not going past, but I'm just gently bringing the arms up just to move. And it's always really helped, so move <laughs> as much as you can. Today, I'm not getting any clients in, so first I'm gonna get my steps, get outside, get him moving, I always feel better for doing so, I feel like I can concentrate more on the laptop, I just generally feel better myself for getting out first thing doing something. Then I'm gonna go to see my mate in Swinton and go and train. Just have a nice day out. Get away for a little bit. <laughs> we can't do much more at the minute, so it's nice to actually go somewhere different instead of going to work or the same, you know, a bit of change scene. And we're off. Let's get a bit of lighting. First bit of the day done, we've got 10,000 steps almost. So a good start to the day. Food ready, pre-workout meal, and I'm gonna head over to Muscle Factory in Swinton, see Chris, train in the gym, and have a nice change of scene because I've got a bit of time today. So obviously I've been working quite hard lately, sat on the laptop, in work, back, back, back. It's nice just to get away and have a change of scene. I'm, I'm always training JD or m maybe a gym locally. So to get to a different gym and change the scene, it's just really nice, especially now I'm being a little bit better in terms of training, I can move more. It's nice to get out and actually train, train. Even if I'm on my own. <laughs> We're here, the Muscle Factory in Swinton. I got absolutely boiling on the drive because it's took me <laughs> over an hour and a half to get here. There. And we're upstairs. Before anyone says half reps, half reps. Oh, <laughs> 
Put some less stress in the shoulder joint and all the way into the delt. Give it a go. <laughs> Trying to leg press this time. In a moment. See how we go. We're struggling to compress. That's a midsection of the flexion hip. But we're keeping hips flexed but not moving. Let's see if I can like kill seats and all those kind of things. Let's try leg press. Two arms. If it hurts, you don't want to stop. If it feels okay, head it. Friday. Let's get some progress done. I look ridiculous like this, don't I? <laughs> style of an old man. I'm 32. Let's get this off. This, by the way, well, uh, neoprene. Uh, so I've got this on, which is a lot hotter than, than this that I had earlier. This, if you can see, it's starting to go dead bobbly. And one thing that I've noticed as time's gone on, this was numb for the first week or so. And I had the, if you ever still look on the old videos, I've got that on in the hotel room with no top. This skin, obviously this is still numb. This here has gone hypersensitive. So when I take this off, my, I can feel my shirt rubbing. The only thing I can say compares, when you've been, so we've all been sunburned, when you've been really sunburned before, and your t-shirt, like, it feels like someone's scraping you when it's just soft. That's what it feels like. So anything still with this, it's all right. When I train, because I look a dick walking around the gym like this, and it's too hot with a jacket over the lot, I'll put it underneath, but then that, this grips to the scar. So the only way it works, if I have this, plus I've not got any handy, um, the medical tape they put on, I've got some like that, similar, but it's not sticky. So I put that over it, and so it stops anything rubbing. Put this on, top over the top, good to go. But yeah, it's, it's been awkward, but this is much better, much more compression, uh, much more comfortable. And that as well, I was like, I was doing this this day in the gym, not looking, trying to look like a dick, I was doing the corner, but just that, that, which it's just trying to stretch everything out. This side's a little bit tighter than the other, but bear in mind I couldn't even stand up straight. Now it's just trying to move everything. And yes, it feels uncomfortable, and a little bit painful, but you've got to move. So there we go, let's have a look. Four weeks, I don't know what I look like. Oh, better be better. Come on, be flat, be flat. Ugh. What does it look like? What does it look like? It looks all right on the screen. Looks all right. It's definitely getting there. I'll put that down so you see this scar. But if you remember, if anyone does what I do, that this is my actual belly button, but you couldn't see it. I've, I've never seen that. As long as I remember, that's obviously skin stretch since I was really young. And it's just, it was a line. So if you look back at old pictures on my progress pictures, all the original videos, it's a line. So I was like, oh, he's made a belly button. And then I realized that no, that's just my belly button. I've not seen it for about 20 plus years. So I'm like dead excited with that. <laughs> I know a lot of people hate belly buttons, but this is like quite exciting to me. I've not seen it for a very long time. And that hernia scar's obviously moved that far. Which shows you how big an operation it was when he's gone. <laughs> But there we go. Yeah, it starts up better. So these, I've never had these showing, even when I've done prep, because that's always been so loose there, and there was always this lip here. So this looks dead weird to me. The fact it goes flat all the way down. Because even when it was lean, there was still that skin there. So it was dead, dead weird. 
And I know that's probably not meaning much to most people because they already look like that. But to me, it's still exciting. I, 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 as far, for as long as I can remember, that's not been flat. So to be flat is dead weird. <laughs> it's quite exciting. You know, it's getting there. This is coming down. I've been working hard to keep my cardio in, obviously, even to train abs in the abs classes and keep everything working and keep the body fat down. So you need to see what it looks like. But yeah, let's have a look at the back. The spin. Does it look all right? Turn that down. Hopefully. Hopefully. But I also had the, the scar at the bottom here that was caused issues when I first came home. I just realised yesterday that's, that's completely closed up as well. So it was like a... Like a two pence piece, the size of that. If you can imagine, it was that long, and then it was oh, it was like split open. That's where the drainage tubes came out. So this sounds being if anyone was not having this done. For those who haven't it done, <laughs> uh, it, it was it was then um, obviously the tubes were coming out, and that took quite a while to seal up afterwards. Whereas the ones on the front, which are here, just just closed straight away. But it was one big one. Then it actually got, it was on a position where I was leaning over, and it was getting worse. So that took a little bit to heal up, but it's been fine now. So it's, it, that, that's gone. These are just little, pull up there. Try not, I can't see. Try not to flash anymore. <laughs> Down there. And then this is now a scar, not a wound. Look in, zoom. Bring that down. It looks nasty, but it's all right. Okay, so four weeks getting flatter. Still a little bit, I've got to keep the compression thing on. Uh, I took it off last night in bed. So that's a bit of backache, which is now gone this morning. So I think that definitely helps when you're sleeping. Keep it on as long as possible. I was told three months. So we're gonna keep going, another two. But I'm happy, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So, four weeks in, and let's go get on with the day. See you all later. All right, so maybe, maybe this company turkey's a bit shit. <laughs> Because the stitch has been hanging out on my side for a few days and I got Jasper to turn up today with this to dig it out. But he didn't have, he had some shit plastic tweezers so I'm going to I'll get proper tweezers and I'm going to do this myself. Which I shouldn't really be doing myself, I'm not a surgeon, but I'm going to try and dig this thing out myself because the stitch was poking out, Jasper's managed to grab it and cut it but it's incredibly painful to touch above it. It feels like a shooting pain going up. I wouldn't want to put this on camera, but you know, it's all might go through the same thing, so we're here. <laughs> fucking hell. Right, it hurts a bit. Let's fucking go. Oh, you bastard, that's been burning. And the mic belt was stabbing me before. Shit, that hurts. I'll tell you what's funny though. So Jasper's there on his hands and knees <laughs> around my crotch with this and some tweezers <laughs> in the change rooms at the gym. To bet it was these, which don't even, if you look, what are they? Because they don't even grab together. <laughs> That's hands and knees in the gym change room. And so I came up, I was like, Chris, what have you done? What's up there? I was like, I'll make an operation. He's like, what, do you have a hernia? I was like, nah, I had to talk to you. <laughs> Wednesday, the 28th of October, Four and a half weeks post-op, I've been hounding this woman that we spoke to in Turkey called Busi to try and get an appointment with the doctor, to actually do a video call, to try and show him the, the bit on my side. But since we've pulled that bit of stitch out, which got a bit better, obviously I was digging in it the other day, it's still, I don't know. I don't really know what it is. I spoke to my client, Jasper, and he's who's pulling the stitch out. He said, we don't really know what it is, so it's very hard to try and take it out. Don't know what it's attached to. If it was having dissolvable stitches behind it, maybe, then it could dissolve and then it would pull out. We know. But maybe it's maybe left in. He said, I've never seen something like that, but maybe it is. We don't know. <laughs> That's why he speaks to the surgeon. I'm just getting this on record for anyone watching this who knows me. I said to Chris, we're going to train at half five. I'm here. At the gym. With minutes to spare. <laughs> so, to anyone who doesn't know me, you're thinking, why is he making a big deal? Trust me, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> so this is a much better atmosphere than JD. Kingston. Much, much better. Let's walk in, energy's through the roof, but it's
it's a lot less anxiety filled and busy than JD. And JD is just horrendous. So that's another session we've got one kit here. So we'll have fun. Let's see if you'll give us a weird look. So I'm videoing it, I hope you'll have fun. Let's go. I'm videoing the session today. <laughs> I feel like videoing. I'm getting you on, I'm getting you on. The man, walk, talking like a boss, I'll shoot the head. Three main cash, call me Ray Man. Fuck, I'll shout, I'll shoot the main man. Look me all in black, like a skate. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, where are you? It's all better, I'm just gonna take a look now. People are saying a lot more seriously. It's such a nice deco. That sounds ridiculous. I think I say deco, but the light is so offensive and bright as it is. The left in here is just nice to be in. Yeah. That's been really set. Session that was so it was good to train with Chris. I haven't seen him in a while, but just being in Kings, it's a much more serious training atmosphere. A lot more people serious about the training. A lot of sort of aspiring bodybuilders or competitive bodybuilders, and it was just a nice environment to be in. As soon as I walked in, the energy in the air was just different. There wasn't that horrible anxious feeling of getting JD. It was just people wanting to train. Dead chatty. We've chatted to loads of people. Talked to more people in there now training when I've never been in there for a while. I'm doing JD that I work in and I've been there for two and a half years every day. So it just shows a completely different environment, different mentality people and much nicer to be in. And it was really good. Like we've got it, some of it on camera, some of it not. I'm just tired in JD now. So I just really want to get out of there. It's, it's suffocating. It's probably the best word. Suffocating environment. It's not an environment to thrive in. It's not motivating. People just don't want to be there. There's no cohesion with the team. There's no cohesion with the members apart from when I do the class. And then that's a couple of times a week. And I'm, I'm going to upset members by going. It will upset me because I do lo I love them to bits, especially ones that come to class regularly. But I have to, to do what's right by my clients. My clients are not happy and I'm not happy. So it's one of those things it was like when I was a pure. It was suffocating and it starts to affect all the areas of your life. If you start to get down with work, it affects the rest of your life. It affects your relationships, your mental health, just in and out of the gym. And you generally start to suffer. And I really started to suffer. And that's when my sleep problem started when I was a pure. So I need to leave before it starts to get to that problem again and save my business. Because I said online's doing well, PT is on its ass, if I'm honest. Okay, so I'm just about to ring the surgeon. I'm gonna try and get it on video with what he's saying and record it on here and on there and let you guys know what is going on with this stitch. So I've just set everything up to try and record a call with the surgeon and then record it on Skype as well. And then when I've called on Skype, he's not answered. So not only has it took um, two days to respond to the messages, really, really slow response with the, we'll call her a concierge woman who was really, really quick to respond while we're in Turkey, getting the operation done. 
obviously as soon as now I've come home, it's just like, I'll see you later. You're no longer a client, I assume, in their eyes. And this aftercare is just non-existent at all. Like I said, I tried calling the surgeon. They said call at seven o'clock. I, I, I can't even message the guy, I don't even know his name. Mazzelli, I think that's his name because that's what the Skype name is. So who knows? I don't even know his name. And that's what I mean, like it doesn't give me much confidence in this surgery I've done. I don't really know what this stitch is. It's, it's felt a bit better since Jasper pulled half it out, but it's still sticking out my side. I don't know what it's from. I don't know what it's attached to. We don't know. And like Jasper said, I, I can't help you until we know what it's doing. Like if there was dissolvable stitch, be, dissolvable stitches behind it, and then they dissolve and fall out. But this is a piece of cotton looking like a big piece to, like thick cotton and that's what it looks like so a bit confusing we don't know what it is if there's all the stitches behind it and they go then it'll pull out but we don't know what it's attached to so without speaking to him and know what he's done we don't know how to fix the problem and that's why i need to speak to him and she said maybe next week for us like no i need to speak to him now and then we can fix the problem and then you can leave me alone and i'll just suck myself because it's quite clear you're not going to give him much help which that's why i'm doing these videos to help you guys because it's quite clear they don't really do that <laughs> which is really bad but this is why if i'm putting this information out then i've gone through it so the rest of you don't have to hmm. i feel nervous so he's not online <laughs> Hello. Okay. I've got you. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. I've just... So... Hang on. Oh, yeah. Um, so I've got this, a stitch, a stitch kind of sticking out of the side of the incision. Okay, okay. But I don't know where the stitch is coming from. So... Okay. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you, obviously, the whole thing anyway. So, okay. So it's come down a lot. It's gone... Sort of, the stomach in general is a lot flatter because that was obviously you couldn't see my belly button and things before. But there's a swelling here, it's got a little bit swollen for sort of a look from the side. It's just swollen there a little bit. And then the stitch, if you can see, is there. Small. Okay. Yeah. Can you see that with the light? Is it is it light enough? No, it's hard to see, but I see this photo, okay. I, I can, saw, I saw yeah. this photo. You can go to a doctor and take it. It can be taken very easily. Or a nurse can take it very easily. Well, this was one of my clients the other day was, was trying to get it. And then it's... Oh, no, it's coming now. It's coming better now. No. Oh. Well, it's actually come out. It was, it was still attached the other day. Okay, so that's the problem. Better. Okay, okay. Yeah, so that's moved. But then there's a swelling, the swelling here. You can see that that's come in the last few days. Maybe you have seroma there, I don't know. Okay. What's seroma? Seroma is fluid collection. So how do I, how do I help that? If... They must check if there's a fluid collection there, okay. You so... must go to a doctor. It okay. must check if there's a fluid collection there. If fluid collection, they can take it out, okay, easily. So they would they drain drain the fluid out? Yeah, yeah one with one injector, yeah. Okay. They can drain. And then the, still, because we, we were trying to say what we don't know. Obviously, one one of my clients who is a nurse, we were trying to figure out with this stitch, and then trying to see what you've actually done inside. So me and you said there was there was stitches. I I thought there were stitches here. But what did you actually do like, with the operation? Did you cut, so you cut there? On my, yeah. yeah, so with the line you drew here, you, yeah. you cut and then pull the skin. Yes, yes. So then, what, so did you do liposuction all around the back there and the sides yeah. as well? Yeah, yes. Yeah. And then here, also tummy, yes. Yeah, so here. Because yeah. I was just trying to see what's actually because I've I've looked on on videos online and, and um, the description the Boosie sent, but it was quite basic. So I was trying to find out what what actually happened in my operation, not just in a tummy tuck operation. Chris, uh, I don't understand what you say, but I what's what question I didn't understand. 
I, I was trying to I was trying to understand what happened in my operation. So okay, I'll explain very yeah. easily. Yeah. You have a regular tummy tuck operation with liposuction. We had the liposuction of your waist, we have the liposuction of your tummy, and we take the excess skin. Mm. What we didn't is we didn't placate your tighten your muscle because you didn't want it and it was tight. Okay. Okay, it's the same with the tummy tuck and lipo. Yeah. So then you cut the skin and then Pull the, pull the skin down and then stitch it inside with inter, with with dissolvable stitches. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So then, do you know around the back? Do, will will that? So it's quite numb to touch. Normal. It will be two to six months. It will be numb. I thought that was just for the front where it's been operated. So is that the that the liposuction as well? Yeah, liposuction area is also numb. It's normal. Okay. So then. Yeah, have you got any pictures of like when you've done the oper when you were doing the operation? Did you take any pictures? No. Okay, I was just trying to see if there's any pictures to to see okay. what had been done. Okay, after three months operation, you will get more slimmer, leaner, and mm. you uh, after you work, you will, your body will be better. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, you will get leaner, thinner for six months, sometimes yeah. even more because you have swelling. Yeah. It gets better and better. Yeah, because I was when you said there was three liters, three liters taken out with the liposuction. Yeah. I, yeah. Is that is that quite a lot? Three liters. Yeah, for for a man like you, you are very skinny when you yeah. came, so it's a yeah. quite a lot. Okay. You will be bad. You will be good. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Do you know what? He's a nice guy. He didn't want to talk to me at all then. <laughs> saying, that, saying that I was a bit pissed off. Yeah, I'm a bit pissed off, but the guy was genuinely being nice there. He's called and he definitely didn't want to because he was like, looked absolutely, absolutely knackered. Um, and you could see it, knowing someone just looks tired. So it's, uh, it, There was not really much to tell. I looked like a bit of a dick when I've just been making a fuss over this stitch. And it's quite clear it was attached to dissolvable stitches which have dissolved in the five days that I've been saying about it. So since Jasper tugged at it on Monday, I've had tape over it since I had a shower Monday night and I've had the tape over it since. And then I'm <laughs> just like a proper dick then. Because I was thinking before when I took the tape off about half an hour ago, ah, it looks like it's poked out a bit more. And then literally I've just touched it and it looked like it was moving. And it's obviously you've seen it on camera. It pulled straight out. So I look a proper dick. I mean, look at it. It's not even, it's a tiny piece. But because it was attached to this awful stitchy behind it, when I pulled, it was pulling properly, like if you pull a piece of thread in a t-shirt, that's how it was pulling and it was pulling everything with it. Uh, and obviously it's gone now and the thing can heal up, so positive at least on that respect. <laughs> Maybe look at Dick going on the call because that was the main thing I was calling about. This fluid accumulation, accumulation only actually come the last couple of days, but I've had that belt on so I've not noticed. So if I can get that on the camera, get me a little flashlight, if I actually look, that is thinner there, if you can see. This has bumped up out of nowhere. That was not there a couple of days ago. That feels quite uncomfortable as well. So, not the best. I didn't want to notice that whilst on the phone to him, but that is, is quite swollen and painful. So I've solved one problem. Pain's well gone down, <laughs> to get another one. But then I suppose this is part of the recovery. <sighs> Need to have a shower, get some tape back on that. Jasper gave me this. Hyperfix. So we can get it on there. Name. Hyperfix. So it's like a material tape. A bit like what the doctor gave me, but he said, I'll stick the tape on for three weeks and then you don't need any more. So I do because that is, it, with the compression thing on it's fine, but that stops everything rubbing on a very sensitive scar it is now. That's really, really useful. So it stops it rubbing and stops it being quite painful. Without it, it was quite sore. Whenever I don't put it on, it gets quite sore just because the, the neoprene's rubbing on it, t-shirt's rubbing on it. Massive lifesaver, which he just said, oh no, it doesn't matter, but it does. And that was actually quite hard to get because I, I couldn't get stuff on to boots. And I got this, obviously from Jasper, and, it, and it's really helped. It's just only got me a little roll and I've been cutting it because it, it was like double the thickness. So I cut it in half and just been putting it on. And it's just enough to stop it rubbing. On some of the bits it's completely healed. Well, not completely healed, but you know what I mean? That bit's not sore at all. It's more than middle. Well, it was a bit bigger and it's not sealed quite so much. So tips there. Right, see you later. 
Today's Friday the 30th of October and it's five weeks post-op today. So let's see how we look it. I'm feeling a little bit bloated today to be honest, but looking in there, this looks like it's come down a lot. This week, this little bit of swelling's come, just said yesterday. Don't really know where from. But that, so it's sitting a lot better. This size feels absolutely fine. This is a pull that stitch out. That's really gone down. And that real bad pain I was feeling on Monday, real sharp when I was eating spin with the mic belt on, I felt like I was being stabbed in the side. That's subsided. Although I looked like a dick on camera last night when I was trying <laughs> and it pulled out. I was like, just caused a big fuss trying to sort this stitch out and it's come out now. So, because it was attached to this well, stitches, so you'd be aware of them and stop panicking like me. So, here, looks a lot better. Side. It's like it's a bit, that feels okay. Here's a little bit bloated, but then that channel looks better. If you remember from before, this was loose, that was loose, and then if I stood like this, it, it, this now goes in and up as it should. But it didn't before. So, much happier. And I can actually do things like a front double just. Although it does feel quite tight through here. Let's say, if we have to remember, I was talking to Pat yesterday when we got the physio at the appointment. That was there. And then they cut over my belly button. So, look how much more stretched the bottom bit is. So, this was a skin between those two. So that bit of skin scar, scar to scar, was that long. So it's been stretched. It's been cut out and then that's been stretched more than it actually was. And this skin isn't as loose anyway. But you can see it's down here, you struggle to grab it at all. But before I could get like a full handful. So it's mad, it is mad the difference. But I'm happy, that looks way better five weeks in. So I'm buzzing. And when I used to do this, <laughs> I used to go all over the place. Doesn't anymore. 